Hey there, dear friends. I wanted to share a little bit with y'all. This is could go on forever, but I'm not planning for it to. If anybody's wrestling or dealing with something, I have a lot. And that is... Well, I mean, it really takes the Lord showing you, first of all, if this is going on. So, if the Lord hadn't showed you this about yourself, don't feel bad about it. No need for condemnation. There is no condemnation in Christ, nothing like that. But, maybe for somebody, it might be a good time to think about it. And this has helped me. I wanted to share it. Um... You know, it's been maybe a couple years ago that the Lord began to show me that I was kind of immature in loving others, truly. Now, I thought I was doing better than I'd ever done. I thought I was the kindest I've ever been and the most praying for my enemies, this, that, and the other. But he just kind of let me know that there was some room to grow in that area. And the only way I was going to be able to do it was to learn from him. You know, he led me to some scriptures. And he just put it on my heart that I had to, to learn some more things. So that I might be more effective in loving and accepting other people. Especially those that I have a hard time with. Especially those that are very much connected to my life that I got to deal with on a regular basis. Because for me, it was so much easier for me to love on and be good to and encourage a stranger on the internet or somebody way out there than it was for me to be kind and accepting and loving with people that are close to me. Maybe a family member. At one time, my husband. And I just needed some help with it. You know, I started to realize how much that I judged other people and my thoughts. And I know that can be a slippery slope. It can be a sticky topic to talk about. Um, I used to think a certain way about... You know, that word judge, the word judge and judging can open up a can of worms in just about anywhere with anybody because so many people see it differently. And, you know, I saw it a certain way for many years, but the Lord came and kind of turned my world upside down and changed the way I thought about things. And I had to go with what he showed me. You know, and I don't really go into it a lot because the Lord has to be the one to show us things that need to be worked on in us. You know, there's a certain time and a place for everything under the sun. And so I leave that to the Lord. All I can share about is what the Lord has convicted me of, showed me about. And what I went through with it. And today I'm not sharing about the long story of it. I wanted to share one little thing. In case anybody ever feels like they're struggling to look at another person in a, a good way. Like maybe this person just, you feel like they bring out the worst in you. You feel like you don't even like who you are when you're around this person. And... It's just things they do. It irritates you. It frustrates you. It gets under your skin. And you have a hard time to be kind, long-suffering, patient with these people. Something the Lord showed me that helped me greatly with that. Um, is There's a few things He showed me. But this in particular today. You know, you could think about it. That's all you can do. Think about it. Talk to the Lord about it. I hope it really would help someone. But basically, is that person, whoever it is, that drives you crazy, 
And you may even think like I did, you know, well, they need to straighten up. They need to do this, that, and the other. They need to call out to the Lord. If they weren't doing this, this, and this, then their life wouldn't be like that, that, and that. And we might even think, you know, they're getting what they deserve. But I don't want anybody to get what they deserve. Because I don't want to get what I deserve from the Lord. He, he gives me everything opposite of what I deserve. He does. I deserve to be cut off from him. But instead he grafted me in and drew me to him. You know, I deserved the death sentence, but he gave me an eternal inheritance of life with him. I mean, he just gives me everything opposite of what I feel like I deserve. And so I don't want anybody to get what I might think they deserve or get what's coming to them. Because that's not how he did me. And this one little thing I was going to share about is that if you've got somebody like that, I have a couple people that just quickly come into my mind. Maybe somebody came into yours. Is ask the Lord to help you to look at that person differently. You know, so many times we're praying, Lord, change them, fix them, straighten them up, show them this, that, and the other. But if the situation is not changing and he's not answering that prayer, you can always say, Lord, change me, change my perspective, change the way I see that person. You know? And one of the ways he helped me was to look at that person and see a picture of who I would be if it had not been for him. And the ways I can look at that person and despise them, get irritated, this, that, and the other, it's like I'm looking at a picture of Misty. A picture of Misty without this relationship I have with the Lord. I would be them. I'd be that one. I'd be that one. I'd be that one. Had it not been for His grace, His mercy, His love, His forgiveness, His pardoning of me, His faithfulness to me, to not give up on me every time I feel like I've messed up, that would be me. I would be darkened in my understanding. I would be ignorant of the ways of the Lord if he hadn't taught me about himself and still teaching me. I would be just like them. You know? And so that has helped me to not, you know, in my mind exalt myself above them. Think I'm better. Because I would be in the same exact position had it not been for the Lord. And I feel like more and more, I want them, I ask the Lord to give them what he's given me. I have peace. And I don't have to worry so much. And I say this person, and he shows me how full of worry she is all the time. And I wish she could have some peace for her mind. Some comfort for her heart. Because anxiety weighs it down so much. That, you know, I wish the Lord would give her the ability to forgive. And let go of these things that are in her heart. And causing her to be so bitter. Because I wouldn't have been able to forgive. When somebody did me wrong or hurt me had the Lord not come and helped me with it. So I just thought I'd share that. It's something I, I practice, I do it. I don't just come and tell you about it and say it's a good thing to do. It's a way of life the Lord has helped me that 
If the Lord were to remove his hand of mercy and grace off of me, that would be me. And I ask the Lord to help me to treat her as if it were me. If I were in that position, I would hope somebody would pray for me. I'd hope somebody would overlook my bad ways, my insulting, my how rude I am. I would hope somebody could overlook that about me. I would hope somebody um, might be kind and show sympathy and pity towards me. And maybe the Lord wants to do those good things for that hard person. And maybe he wants to do it through you and through me. You know, when he said, whatever I have done for you, now go and do likewise. Maybe that's what he wants. Maybe they might catch a glimpse of the light of Christ and want to hear about the good news of Jesus Christ if they might see him in us a little more. You never know. So, I hope that can help somebody to think about. We need the Lord to remain humble, to judge ourselves rightly, examine ourselves, and realize this great free gift we have been given, truly.